This is probably up there with one of the best protein options here at Costco. All right, guys, right now we are at Costco. We're gonna do a Costco protein haul. I'm gonna show you guys the better of the options. Of course, if we're in a calorie deficit, we want to restrict our calories. We want to consume more protein to help with satiety, help with building muscle because we don't want to get that skinny fat look. I'm going to show you the best of the best options here at Costco. So let's get on with this Costco protein haul. Right. Come on, bro. What's your name again? Drew. Drew, nice yeah. to meet you. You shop here by yourself? Yeah, my mom's like somewhere. Oh, I was going to say, man. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay. Have a good one, bro. So one of my first priorities here is going to be the protein shakes. We're gonna go with like Fairlife protein shakes here because this has the best protein to calorie ratio. This one's ultra filter milk. That's another reason why I like it. Also, if you have any like lactose issue, this is lactose free. So this also helps for digestibility. And this one's 150 calories. As you guys can see, this one's 30 grams of protein. Uh, this is one perfect, again, if you need to replace a meal, if need be. And these specific flavors, I've only seen chocolate. These taste just like chocolate milk. There's other particular ones too here, like Premier Protein they have. Um, that's another good one. They have Muscle Milk. But between this one and the Premier, uh, I'm gonna say these are probably one of the best flavors here. And then this 18 pack is $31.49. So this is always a staple here at Costco for me. So right now I'm at the protein powder section. Um, usually I check for ones that's third party tested because that means you know what you're getting in the ingredients. Uh, Ascent is a really good brand here at Costco. And then another one I would check for is if it's either isolate or whey hydrolyzed, whey hydrolyzed being the best because it's better for digestibility, especially if you have stomach issues. So this, like I said, this is third party tested. So this is perfect to grab. You could see actually right here, the informed logo. So you know what you're getting in the ingredients. This one specifically is 120 calories. Uh, this one's 25 grams of protein. Like I said, this is perfect. Uh, this is more so for the convenience of it. First few ingredients, like again, ingredients are irrelevant to losing body fat. It's all about calories, protein. Of course, we want whole nutrient dense foods. Uh, for this specifically, this is derived from milk from a cow. So this is perfect to have. And whey protein is actually one of the most bioavailable forms of protein. So this is perfect. I like to use this in the mornings for my protein pancakes. I'll mix this with like egg whites, one egg, uh, a little bit of farro or oatmeal, have some baking soda, baking powder, and you get awesome protein pancakes. Add some Greek yogurt for the consistency of it. But this one is specifically, this is a scent, and this one's a 30, 68 ounce bag for $54.99 right here, if you could see that. Yeah, and then Versus, they have other cool brands too. They have like IsoPure, this one's a whey isolate. So like I said, whey isolate, whey hydrolyzer are usually your top two brands. The only thing is, I don't believe this is one's third party tested. So you might not exactly get what's listed or it's not as transparent as other um, third party labels or the ingredient list. They have Optimum down here too. Optimum used to be a staple. I think if you get any type of protein and you need to hit your protein intake, this is perfect as well. Like I said, this was a staple for me as a kid. Um, and then if we look in the back, the ingredients and everything for this, this is 120 calories, 24 grams of protein. The blend of the isolate and the concentrate, concentrate is usually the lowest form for whey protein. It's concentrate, isolate, and then hydro, uh, hydrolyze. Um, but like I said, if you just need to hit your protein intake for the day, perfect. And then this bag is actually 11.72 per pound and it's 63.99. So um, not as bad. I think it's about the same in GNC as well. And then if not, you can always price match it at GNC. All right, so right under whey protein, um, whey protein being the most bioavailable protein as far as that goes, we have eggs. Eggs are another staple here at Costco, you guys. Um, so either you can get these hard boiled eggs because these are more so for the convenience of these. These are already peeled. You don't have to do it yourself. Or you can just grab regular eggs. They have the carnes over there. But I like these ones because you're, you're getting a lot in one pack. You're actually essentially getting 16 uh, two pound bags. That's what it is, right? I think it still stays the same at Costco. Yeah, you're essentially getting 16 three ounce packs here. So it's, it's basically the same as it was 
and the, the price is virtually identical to what it was, I want to say a little over a year ago. Uh, it's $13.89. Eggs with the yolk, um, that is another crazy misconception here. So dietary cholesterol and blood cholesterol are two different things. So we like fats specifically because of the yolks. Yolks have the most nutrient dense in it, has the choline for brain health, has the lutein for eye health. So eggs are essential. I love the whole eggs. We're gonna pick one of these and we could just chop these up because these are already peeled, as I said. Chop these up, throw these on your salads. You can just eat it as it is. Maybe throw a little bit of salt, pepper on it, just add a little bit more flavor and more taste to it. And you can even add stuff like hot sauce or any type of low calorically dense uh, sauce to it. And then as we can see here, uh, so this one, each egg is 68 calories, six grams of protein, um, peeled, ready to eat. Eggs, I will say, is always a staple for me. And we have studies looking at uh, egg white consumption versus whole eggs. And it's been shown that if you have even three eggs per day, it's been shown to increase testosterone. But like I said, um, the big picture is having lower levels of body fat and higher levels of muscle mass to improve metabolic health. But enough of me going on a tangent, awesome pick to have. All right, so right here, I have one of the staples here at Costco. This is probably one of the um, most popular items here at Costco because it's been the same price for the past, I, I don't even know how, probably five, 10 plus years. Uh, it's still $4.99. This is the Costco rotisserie chicken here, you guys. This is 140 calories, 19 grams of protein. Um, a popular thing with this is uh, a lot of people like to say the carrageenan in it, but there's two types of carrageenan. Um, the one that's in this specifically has been shown zero harm to metabolic health. Um, so on that note, this is a really good option. This is fully cooked chicken. This is really tender, it's really juicy, it's really moist. And this is more so for the convenience of it. So if you can't cook your own chicken, if you have kids, if you're always busy throughout the day, if you're working past that nine to five and you're coming home late and you're trying to figure out whether you actually wanna cook or not and you don't, uh, this is a really good option, so um, always a staple. I like to slice these up as well. You can make awesome chicken sandwiches with the thyme bread, or you can just slice these up, throw them on your chopped salads, make wraps out of these, the buffalo chicken wraps. You got the low calorie tortilla wraps here with the hot sauce. Tastes just as good, if not even better. Like I said, this is awesome because this is the convenience of it, and this is probably the most popular item which Costco is known for. So. All right, so another good option I just ran into, this is probably up there with one of the best protein options here at Costco, is the Kirkland turkey breast here, you guys. I like to get the whole because it's just cheaper per pound wise. This is 4.79 per pound, so not bad at all. Um, and then if you want something that's just simple and easy, like I said, uh, this is 60 calories. If we look closer a little bit, 12 grams of protein, all they're really throwing is just turkey. Uh, it's turkey broth, sea salt, and then sugar. Um, so a lot of that is also helped to keep it preserved. So salt can help with that. Like I said, sodium I know is a big thing um, around in the fitness industry. Most people that just want to get into shape, we really don't look at it because you're engaging in a lot more physical activity, which is going to increase your sodium intake, the more you urinate, uh, just depending on your gender. So different factors like this is going to all apply your genetics, any pre-existing medical conditions. But like I said, turkey breast Kirkland is perfect to have. You could just slice these up. Uh, we can make awesome like turkey and cheese sandwiches. And then we can grab like the low fat or fat free. Um, they still have it over there, the Jarlsberg Light. That's perfect to use. So we can use a combination of that. And like I said, low calorie sauce. We can grab the hot sauce. The, we can grab the yellow mustard. And those are perfect additions for lunch if you're just quick and you're always loosely going on time for like lunch or anything like that. And then, like I said, if we look closer, the net weight of this pound is 389 and it's 479 per pound. So this is another up there product for uh, this Costco protein haul, which is I'm always gonna engage in. All right, so another really, really popular product here for this perfect Costco protein haul, the chicken skewers. So this is the West End Cuisine specifically. They come in skewers. This one's okay for the price. This one's 1.7 pounds for $15.99 at Costco. 
I like these because these are pre-cooked chicken and like I said, the convenience of it, we're always busy. Um, sometimes we're short on time. This is perfect for like those cookouts and then you could just add your own vegetables like peppers, onions. But if we turn around to the back, they come on the skewers as they say on the label. So we can always just add our favorite vegetable, uh, the peppers, the onions. And these ones are 150 calories, 24 grams of protein, and you're getting 14 skewers for $15.99. Um, is it the best in price? It's okay, it's not horrible, but the pre-cooked chicken is just more so for the convenience. And this is gonna be considered a Costco protein haul option. All right, so this is another awesome high protein Costco find here at Costco, you guys. I love this one specifically, or you don't find this anywhere in like a Walmart or a Target. These are Alaskan salmon burgers here, you guys. I like these specifically because of the protein, the calorie ratio, and then there's more to it as well. And then uh, this one specifically is 170 calories, you guys. This one's 20 grams of protein. So what I like to do is I like to set kind of like a limit. So around 10 grams per 100 calories is a good reference. Um, but what you could really see on the labels, anything technically high, you see right next to the daily value, anything's going to be considered high if it's 20% more or above. So right here, it's considered high protein because it's 40% daily value. But also, we have to remember all the old daily values. If you're into weightlifting, strength training, you're probably gonna need a little bit more than the average individual. So a good reference would be anywhere from 0.8 grams to up to 1.2 grams per pound per protein. If you're in that calorie deficit, the more protein, the more satiating it's also gonna be for you as well. So going back to the Alaskan salmon burgers, this one's wild caught. Wild caught and farm raised is another misconception. They're both ultimately the same. There's not enough toxins in it to really do any damage, especially because they're still below the level of EUs that need to damage anything into your body, anything as far as metabolic health. And oh, the Alaskan salmon burgers here, I like too, because they have omega-3s, and omega-3s is what we need for our brain health. Like, not too many people get omega-3s. You can always get it from fish oil, make sure the fish oil is third party tested, but the salmon burgers is what I like to really, really choose here. And this is a really good deer here at Costco as well. It's three pounds for $18.99. It's, it's actually been like this for the past year or so. So this is another staple I'm always gonna pick. And then as far as the buns go, we can either go with the thyme bread, um, and then we could choose like a low calorie sauce, like G. Hughes sauce, they don't have that here. Probably gonna get that at Walmart or Target or you can grab something like hot sauce, you can grab honey mustard, uh, yellow mustard, all great options. But like I said, uh, this is perfect right here. So we're gonna grab one of these. All right, so this is another staple here at Costco. So a very popular thing here is uh, farm versus wild distinction or the color. Like atherxanthin, for example, is what makes the uh, darker the salmon. So you see this pigmentation, it's darker. It's because atherxanthin is a carotenoid and specifically what they eat, because they eat the shrimp, the algae, and that's red, that turns um, into a darker color. And because carotenoids um, are antioxidants, it helps preserve the fish as well. So these are just as good as the wild, um, sometimes if not even better because of the price. The price per pound here is $9.99, so this is always a staple. They have omega-3s, and for example, if you see flamingos, flamingos are actually born gray, but because of the shrimp, and the algae they eat, um, they change the color of their coat. So they're actually turning more pink, more red. So regardless, wild, farm, all the same, just pick the one that you prefer and the one that's actually probably better in price-wise. And these, like I said before, um, between this and the Alaskan salmon burgers, these have omega-3s. So omega-3s are gonna help with your brain health and omega-3s is a little bit harder to get, especially in your diet specifically in a caloric deficit. So um, we're gonna pick something like this here. Uh, this isn't high in protein, but this can as well help you get into that calorie deficit. This is another huge, huge mistake most people make when shopping at Costco, and they're trying to lose weight, trying to lose fat. Um, I think we could just use little simple tricks, like just replacing like our sugars that we use in our coffees, our teas, um, and we could use this as basically a better option. So like if we're making goods, if we're making cookies, um, we're always gonna replace this specifically. So if you're choosing over here, you guys are coming over here to the pure cane fine granulated sugar. 
Uh, the most important distinction is consuming more calories than your body burns in a day. So if we're using this for like our baking goods, our cookies, uh, if we're making brownies, you can easily just simply replace this. And I'm gonna show you a way better alternative. And then this 24, uh, we have a 25 pound bag for 19.29 here at Costco. So the Imperial Sugar, like I said, um, this one's 30 calories per serving. This is gonna add up a lot. If we're using this in the morning for our coffees, I tend to use this in the morning. But once I switched, started seeing the weight drop immediately. So if we come over here, right? A really good alternative instead would just be like something like the Whole Earth plant-based sugar alternatives here, you guys. This one, as we get closer, this one's zero calories uh, because the, the carbohydrates is eight, but it's coming from uh, erythritol. So it's technically counts as zero here because it's a sugar alcohol and it's an alternative for sugar. So this is something we would use um, in our daily day. So like in your coffees, if you want to sweeten them up with the almond milk, with a fair life shake, throw that in there. Uh, awesome iced coffee in the morning. And then this bag specifically, uh, you're getting two pounds and this one's $8.99 here at Costco. So this is perfect. Or if you don't like this one specifically, we have other options as well. So Stevia leaf is another great one. This one's uh, specifically from the plant. So if, again, if you're looking at the ingredients, uh, this one probably be a better option for you. And then we're gonna turn this one around so we could see that it's zero calories um, across the board. Same idea with the whole earth plant-based uh, carbohydrates too, but the erythritol is two grams, so it's technically zero calories. It's minus because it doesn't digest the same way. And then these packets here are a four, 400 count for $14.79 here at Costco. So just a way better alternative for your coffees in the morning. Uh, if anything you need to sweeten up during your day, we're just gonna choose this overall. So right now, uh, this one isn't high in protein, but this is just a low calorie dense food. If you're a fan of sushi, you might actually particularly like this. This is the uh, Kim Nori seaweed snack packs here, you guys. There's a lot of snack packs that come in one. Um, so this one's actually misplaced, but this one's the Kirkland brand. Um, it's under their brand specifically. This is 20 calories per serving. We're getting uh, sodium because you're getting that sweet, salty, savory taste to it. Um, like I said, if you're a fan of sushi, this is a really good option to pick. And if you're looking at the ingredients, all it really has is the seaweed, sunflower oil, the sesame oil, sea salt. I think there's a big misconception in uh, the fitness industry where um, seed oils is a bad thing. There's multiple studies, and I'll put it up here, proving that once you replace saturated fat with polyunsaturated fat, you're actually benefiting your metabolic health. So like I said, overall the big intake is to eat less calorically dense foods, move more, and you end up improving your metabolic health nine times out of 10. Um, so that's what we're really trying to do overall here, you guys. All right, so these are perfect. Um, also, um, on top of that, these have they're 20 grams, of, uh, these are 20 calories per pack per serving. So you're getting one fifth, one fiftieth the pack. One gram of protein, sodium. Um, you can also overhydrate. So sodium is important as an electrolyte. And this pack is, because it's 0.37 pounds, it's 9.99 here at Costco. So this is uh, not high in protein, but this is a perfect low calorically dense food we can have. All right, this one isn't specifically high protein, but this is a low calorie option I like to use, especially in a calorie deficit. This is gonna save you uh, a ton of calories and this bread tastes just as good, if not even better than regular Wonder Bread, classic breads, or whole wheat bread. This one's the old time bread. This one's Italian specifically. Usually the old time breads are just uh, least calorie dense. I'm trying to think if this is the lowest calorie option. So this one, yeah, this one seems like it's the lowest calorie. I know they have the 40 calorie ones. All right, so it seems like uh, the old time bread seems like it's the least calorically dense bread. So this is probably like a really good option, especially like if you're making French toast in the morning, eggs with sausage, bacon, uh, usually gonna go with turkey bacon if anything. This is 80 calories per slice, three grams of protein. 
This is priced at 179 per pound here at Costco. Um, these ones don't specifically have fiber. Like I said, there's other ones that um, under old time that are 40 calories that used to be here and used to be just as good, if not even better. Oh, you know what? Actually, they're right here. Oh, no, I actually found it right here, you guys. All right, so this is the old time bread. This is the 647 bread. This is gonna be the way better option. And it's not even just the caloric intake. So this one's 40 calories, right? And you're getting the fiber too to help decrease all cause mortality because we need fiber. General recommendations, uh, I believe for males is 20 to 30. Um, a good um, idea is to get 10 grams per every 1,000 calories. So that's another good way of doing it. But like I said, fiber is perfect to have. Um, really good, especially specifically as we're dieting and we're eating less calorie dense foods. But this one um, is always a staple. And then this one right next to it, it's gonna say low carb bread. It's 6.99, so it's 3.10 per pound. So, uh, and this one says keto friendly too. Yeah, because they're minusing the carbohydrates from the fiber. So that's, that's why it's keto friendly low in carbs. So a uh, really awesome trick here, especially when you're at Costco and you're shopping and you're trying to lose weight fast, oils and butters um, are very calorically dense. So if you actually see the label, uh, majority of them are around 120 calories per serving, especially for the oil like olive oil. It's not that it's bad oil, it's just that it can add up to a lot of calories at the end of the day. So what we use instead for like cooking, frying, using anything specifically in the pan, we're gonna go for these sprays. And uh, so Pam is a really good brand. So like I said, we're not fearful of any ingredient specifically because it's the dose that makes the poison. Water in abundance without any electrolytes can be terrible for you. So if we look at Pam oil spray right here, right? So we're gonna use this specifically in the morning if we're making like eggs, um, if we're making uh, chicken stir fry, that's perfect to have. These usually last me each pack usually probably lasts me like two, three weeks, depending on how much you spray. I'll have two to three meals a day, around three, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So just a few spritz. Again, we don't want to overdo this. And then if we look at the back of the nutrition label right here, so it's zero calories per serving, but technically anything, uh, the reference is anything under less than five calories can be classified as zero calories according to the nutrition label. So we also want to be careful because this probably still has some type of calories, but it's technically classified as zero. So just be careful with this. This one or the avocado um, oil spray as well. These are both perfect to use, whether you know, you're really looking at the ingredients and you're worried about that. Either or is both good. But the difference is the Pam oil spray pack. This one is two 12 ounce cans for $7.99 versus the avocado spray oil. I don't know if I can really compare this because this one's actually on sale here at Costco. These are two 13.5 ounce cans is $8.79. So I don't know if I could really compare the two, but either or is both gonna help you tremendously, especially to get in that calorie deficit. So right now we're in the seafood section. We're gonna go with the shrimp, right? Cause shrimp has a good protein to calorie ratio. This is a really good option. Uh, the Kirkland Wild Argentinian shrimp here, you guys. I like these specifically cause uh, the tail's off already. So we don't have to use the fest, the must of just trying to peel it ourselves. And then these ones are 80 calories, 18 grams of protein. The ingredients are literally just, as it is, just Argentinian ren shrimp and that's it. So if you're afraid of specifically what you're getting, you're just getting the Argentinian shrimp. And these are perfect for like, if you're having cocktail parties, um, we could cook these, throw these on top of our salads, especially during lunch. I feel like that's a very hard time. If you're working a nine to five and you don't know what to come out with, you can always grab these. You can always grill these on the pan, make sure the internal temperature is around 165 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the standard for this chicken. Uh, just to make sure it's cooked properly as well. And then for thawing purposes, uh, you can just place the bag overnight in the refrigerator. I'm always up and down with kind of thawing it right away or thawing it as quick as possible under running water. So what I like to do is kind of just thaw it in the refrigerator, wait overnight, and the next day should be perfect to go. And then throw it in your pan with the olive oil spray, avocado spray, the palm oil, 
and you're gonna have a really good low calorie, high protein alternative for your lunch. These are perfect because these are coming straight from uh, Argentine and I like Argentina as a country. And for the price too, it's actually pretty good. Uh, you're getting the two pounds for $21.49. So um, this is definitely always a staple. So like I said, just a quick convenient option. And instead of using something like a butter, because I know butter is pretty popular to like saute it, um, we can always use garlic and lemon as a better alternative for a lower calorie option. So this one is definitely a staple. So usually frozen fruits last longer than generally fresh fruits. We're gonna check out the wild blueberries specifically because frozen is usually frozen at peak freshness. So that's why they last a little bit longer. And sometimes they retain most of their nutrients as well. So we would go with that. This is not high in protein, but this is definitely a staple for me, specifically in my diet. I love blueberries. Um, they don't have the wild blueberries, which is fine. I just think uh, the wild blueberries have a little bit more uh, antioxidants, but these are perfectly fine as well. So this is the triple berry blend here at Costco. Uh, you're getting a mix. This is four pounds. You're getting the raspberries, the blueberries, the blackberries. There's nothing more, nothing less in the back. So as you turn it around, right, it's the same thing. It's just raspberries, blueberries, blackberries. So if you're very conscious of what you're getting, that's all you're getting. This is 70 calories. This is actually a good source of vitamin C. This is also a good source of fiber. Um, so that's another reason why I like to get it. And this is a high volume food here at Costco. Higher volume foods are gonna be uh, filled either with air, uh, water, so like popcorn for instance is a high volume food because of the low calorie density it has. But the triple berry blend, like I said, is perfect. Especially in the mornings, I like to use this. I'll throw this on top of the protein pancakes as I mentioned before. Um, you can usually have this as a snack. You can grab the Fairlife shakes, have that on the side. You have a perfect way to kind of balance it. And I think fruit has a really bad reputation for being bad, but the benefits outweigh the cons. At the end of the day, it's really your calories. But if you want to get a little bit more specifically, um, it's, it's more so the added sugar. This is natural sugar. This is fruit. Fruit is amazing. Uh, the benefits outweigh, outweigh the cons. So you're getting uh, phytochemicals, you're getting the nutrients, and these are just quick, easy. You could throw these in your protein smoothies in the morning, especially if you always are on the go like I am. Um, so throw this in your smoothie with a scoop of whey protein, add some Greek yogurt, a sweetener, and you're good to go. You don't even have to worry about your protein intake for the day. And then these ones are four pounds for $10.99 here at Costco. So like I said, always a staple, and these are frozen at peak freshness. So they're probably gonna last a little bit longer. Listen, you know, fried chicken isn't the best thing to choose on a diet, but specifically, as you can see, we have the Just Bear. Just Bear, and right next to it is the Kirkland Chicken Breast Chunks. Listen, we all know it's, it's hard to stick to a diet. Um, the most important part to a diet is adherence, right? So if you can't adhere to the diet, it's probably not worth it. So you wanna to adhere to it and you wanna see the results. And if you're a fan of fried chicken, like I am sometimes, Just Bear right here specifically is a great option. This is lightly breaded chicken here, you guys. This one's really popular as well because these taste similar to Chick-fil-A and I've seen it for myself. I tasted it for myself. So we're gonna look at the back right here. It's 160 calories for three ounces because we're looking at the grams. We don't technically look at the serving size, but the serving size is three ounces, so which is fine as well. Grams, you're just gonna get a more accurate distinction, especially when you guys start weighing out your food. 16 grams of protein, like I said, lightly breaded chicken. This is juicy, this is moist chicken. You could do this the same way as well. You could just throw this on top of your salads. But the Just Bear, right, and the chicken breast chunks are the top two here at Costco. Just as a side tip, bonus tip really. And then we're getting a four pound bag for $17.99 here at Costco. So we're gonna choose this one, Kirkland, both great options. So right now we're checking out uh, the bacon. So there's another huge misconception when we're when looking for bacon. We're, we're probably gonna go with turkey bacon because they're lower in calories, uh, specifically fat calories. So that just reduces overall caloric intake of the turkey bacon, right? So Columbus is a really good brand here at Costco. And if we turn this around, this is 45 calories, six grams of protein. Sodium is another thing that a lot of people worry about. Um, 
So it's usually between 1,500 to 2,300 is the recommendation. But if you work out a lot, if you have a lot of physical activity, if you have no pre-existing medical conditions, you're probably gonna need a little bit more sodium intake, just like you're probably gonna need a little bit more water soluble vitamins, because again, you're sweating a lot more. So this um, would be a perfect staple. And um, the belief that this doesn't have nitrates, um, and more likely than, than not does, if you turn the back um, and you see the ingredients, I'm not a huge proponent on reading ingredients, but anything with celery powder or anything with celery juice. So celery powder and celery juice, it's a nitrate, and then it gets converted to nitrate. So if you see that in the ingredients, it's still technically not uncured. But like I said, this is just a good product overall. And we could see that on the back right here. Um, so you, you see the turkey, turkey dark meat, water, sea salt, vinegar, you see the celery powder. So this is still cured in a sense, but we're not worried about that. We just picked this because of the calorie to protein ratio. And this tastes amazing. You could throw this in the pan, spray some Pam oil, um, have some awesome turkey bacon in the morning, and then with turkey sausage, and then the low calorie bread like the thyme bread. And these ones are actually not bad for the price. So you're getting 2.5 pounds for $14.99 here at Costco. So this one, um, actually I'm gonna put this one back because I also see another good one as well. So if you come down here, Oscar Mayer makes really good bacon, but they don't have the turkey bacon here. Because they don't have the turkey bacon, we'll probably just end up going with turkey bacon from the Columbus specifically. So another uh, really good staple for high protein here at Costco. Usually go with the Kirkland uh, Greek yogurt. Organic or not, it really doesn't matter. Organic is just really a marketing term. It just means that you're actually essentially getting organic pesticides and it really just takes up 20 to 40% more land. So we're not really concerned about that. Uh, specifically, what we are concerned about is the taste. Taste is kind of a rich, tangy flavor to it. This one is 100 calories, 18 grams of protein. Usually with Greek yogurt, I get the non-fat or low-fat Greek yogurt um, just because it's gonna be lo uh, least calorie dense. So Kirkland has their own brand, like I said. This is probably one of the better of the brands. This one or the Faye Total, another really good option as well. But this one, the, the key is with this one, this one's really cheap here at Costco. This one's uh, the three pound tub you're getting for $5.99. So this is perfect for like the convenience of it. And we can make this even better if we take like uh, about a cup of this and then about half a cup to a cup of your favorite whey protein, like the Ascent here. This is a really good option. We can mix the two and then you have uh, an awesome low calorie, high protein dessert. So this one is a really good option. Like I said, they have the FIA total. The FIA, you're getting 48 ounces, so it comes out to 233 per pound. Either or, perfectly fine. Uh, but this one, we're gonna go with this one. And this is a good source of calcium too, so crucial for bone health perfect to have.